All right, we have some exciting new news. Revpoint now has officially its own scanning spray. But the question is, at what point would you want to use scanning spray? Why do we even need it? Well, I have three examples right here on the table. This first one, transparent. You're gonna have difficulties scanning that without scanning spray. Also an object that is too dark. And then this muffler, muffler that is reflective. These are three examples that you're gonna to need to spray. And something to keep in mind too, as you can see, the two cans are different colors. The white one, AB6, the six stands for, it will disappear within six hours. So it's not permanent. The black one is permanent, ABP, that's what the P stands for. But permanent in the sense that if you don't wipe it down, it's gonna keep the scanning spray on there. But if you wipe it off, it comes off nicely. But let me first of all, just give you an example scanning this transparent item and let's see if we can even accomplish it without scanning spray. So I'm using POP3 here. Have it on feature tracking, exposure auto, and let's start. <laughs> it's not seeing it because it's transparent. No biggie. Okay, so let's just cancel that one. Let's spray it down. And I'm just gonna use the AB6 scan spray, not permanent. Dissolves within six hours. I'll take it off the turntable for now. If you can also scanning something, when you're spraying something, it'd be nice to be able to take it out to a more ventilated area. It's not toxic, you know, it's not gonna damage you by breathing in, but obviously it's nice if you have more of a ventilated area. But we're in the studio, so I'm just gonna spin, spray it here. The six hour one, as you can see, it's white, the color. Put that on there. And then non-permanent, I mean it's sensitive. You can see the areas where I picked it up. It comes off right away when I touch it. All right, so that's that. Now let's see through a different result by spraying it. So right away on the preview screen, uh, we can see that this item is popping up before I couldn't even read it. All right, start scanning. So there we have it, huge difference. All it took was putting some scan spray on there, but we, I'm not gonna run it through editing and all, but we see the object. A few holes up top there, but that's not a scan spray issue. That's more so because I didn't raise the scanner up and catch through that with the point clouds. So let me just show you now the difference in the color. As you can see, this was the six hour one, two to six hours, it's a, a white. I'm gonna spray, spray the muffler which is permanent, this one is permanent, and notice the difference in the color. It's more of a gray. We also do it on here, you can see the contrast. But, like I said, permanent in the sense that if you don't touch it at all, it's gonna stay on there. It's not gonna evaporate like the six hour. But let me just grab some tissue now and just show you how easily it comes off. So on this one first, comes off just like that. Right here is the permanent one. Comes off really easy. Something else I also, also want to share with you, as you can see this item, because sometimes if an item isn't, doesn't have enough features on it, you're going to want to use marker dots. So this side already has marker dots. Would this be a good idea? If I sprayed over the marker dots, what's well, gonna affect reading them? So the best thing would be to first spray your item 
then put the marker dots on top of it. That's kind of self-explanatory, but just try to avoid that. Don't put the marker dots on first. Spray first, then put the marker dots over the top of that. Also, you'll notice that when you buy your scanning spray, as just the typical nozzle that I'm using, but then it also comes with this. When would you want to use this specific nozzle? And it's just a matter of pulling this one off and then pushing this on. And you can't avoid spraying a little bit when you push on. So for an area like this where there's a, a hole, that'd be kind of tricky if you're just using the standard nozzle. You wouldn't be able to fully cover the inside as well as you would like. But if you have this extra nozzle on it, it makes it easier for you to get inside and get all the angles that you would like. But that's pretty much what, come, what it comes down to with scan spray, the different reasons why you would use it. A transparent item, something that's too dark or reflective. And just personal preference of what you want to use. If you want to use an evaporating one, the AP6, or more of the permanent one, the APP. Totally up to you. Okay, we have a fun experiment today. We have a can of AB6. We've used a little bit of it, but we want to demonstrate how long it takes to use up a full can of AB6, almost full, on this car behind us. So we're gonna just unload the whole thing and time it. Let's give it a try. So there we have it, used up the full can, got all the way around this vehicle. Obviously some parts are a little patchy, but you have a reference point of roughly how long it takes to use up a full can of the AB6. I made it all the way around this car.